JXC, JXO has been keeping me busy, but they've been keeping me busy with some good stuff because they keep coming out with different throwing knives and blowing my mind each time. Today, we're gonna to be looking at the Black Sword. Stick around. Thank you for joining, my friend. I hope you find this content helpful and resourceful. Check these blades out. This here is their new Black Sword throwing knife, and it comes in a set of three. One of the things that makes me happy with regards to this particular seller on Amazon is they're actually starting to name their products. I have been sent so many throwing knives and so many throwing axes from so many sellers on Amazon and nobody names their product. They just put throwing axes, throwing tomahawks. Well, we know that's what it is, but what is it to you? What do you call it? And the cool thing about JXC, JXO is they're starting to, to name their throwers. For example, last week, I reviewed the series called The Thunder. And that was a great name, man, because these were like massive, weighty, no-spin throwing knives, and they bring the thunder. One of the things that makes products stand out is there is a name. You go out to Cold Steel, they got a name for everything. You go out to any good knife company, they've named their blades. Well, Amazon sellers, take a page out of their book. Stop just using generic titles for your throwing knives. Take time to figure out what you feel that product should be titled because it gives people something to remember. And you can most definitely look at this and remember the name Black Sword. These are about 10.3 inches in length and they are right at six millimeters thick. So it's a chunk of metal. I can already tell that these are gonna be awesome rotational throwers. And some of you may be thinking, yeah, rotational only. No, actually not at all. This is gonna be an excellent no-spin throwing knife for me. In fact, I can no-spin throw something like this better than I can their no-spin throwing knife, but I'm gonna show you how I do that. This is already a good throwing knife, but imagine how good it's gonna be when we put paracord on it. Those who know me know that I'm gonna wrap this throwing knife handle because I throw better with a handle. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take some paracord and we're gonna lay it across the handle just like this right here. I'm gonna leave one side of this is gonna be you know, long and then the other is just gonna be a little piece hanging off down here like this. And now what I'm gonna do is take the long part and just wrap it. And I'm gonna hold this nice and tight and just get this wrapping, there we go. Now all I'm gonna do is just wrap it all the way up to the top. Doesn't have to be perfect because if, you know, if you're like me, you're gonna tape this. I'm gonna put hockey tape over top of it. That way I can easily take the hockey tape off. I can take the paracord off if I ever want to. And it's not, it's not a whole lot of work. I'm just gonna keep wrapping all the way to the top. Let's go all the way up, all the way up the handle. And this is perfect, okay? So this is what it will look like when I get to the top. I've got this little piece that I left hanging here and I've wrapped the handle now I'm just gonna take, I'm gonna take the, the string that's left and I wanna go through this top loop that remains, this little loophole. I'm just gonna shoot it through there. I'm gonna turn it to where you can see it. All right, there it is. All right, you see how I, I took the end of the string and ran it through that loop. All I'm gonna do now is pull both sides to make this tight. I'm pulling both sides to make this tight and that's all it is. It's just creating a platform Looks just like that. I'm gonna cut the rest of the cord off here and then I'm gonna tape it up. So I left a little bit of paracord here because I might wanna use this again. I can just secure the rest with tape. These are the two ends that I had to pull to tighten it down. So I'm just gonna take this loose piece and just secure it against the handle. I'm gonna take this hockey tape. I'm gonna start wrapping it. Look at there, it's already stuck to the handle. I'm just gonna keep walking this tape all the way down all the way down the handle, covering that paracord up. I've got some loose paracord here, that's fine. I'll just tighten it down and tape over it as well. Not a problem at all. All right, so we've got us a taped up paracord wrapped handle and we'll give it a little grip, tighten it down. And that's what we got. We've got us a handle to work with on these throwing knives gonna be much easier for me to do hammer grip no spin now but this also gives a little extra added weight for a little harder hit
Now, this doesn't have an edge on both sides. It's just got the look of a dagger, but the tip of this is nice and strong. Now, I reviewed a set a while back of theirs that ended up not having good tips, but this has got a very, very strong solid tip on it. And they already weigh at about a half a pound. You get even more weight when you put the handle on it. Nice rotational feel. Tap spin. Ooh. Hammer grip, no spin. I just get more control over a knife when I've got a good handle. I can just no spin this thing all day. If you want to know how to do hammer grip no spin, which is very liberating and it's very powerful, I did a full tutorial on it a few months back. Just type 411 Outdoors hammer grip no spin. JXC, JXO, I'm proud of you. Thank you for making sturdier throwing knives at a good price where everybody can afford it, where everybody can get their hands on a decent set of throwers. Friends, you don't have to pay 10 or $15 to get some crap. Just pay anywhere from 30 to 50 and you can get all kinds of weighted throwing knives. And JXC, JXO's got so many different kinds. They've got different size no-spin throwers. Um, and they've got the Thunder that I reviewed recently that are massive. And then they've got the Black Sword here. And you'll be well equipped to do any kind of throwing you want to do. Two thumbs up for the Black Swords. And I'm excited to see what they're going to put out next. Thank you all so much for watching. I'd love to hear from you in the comments. What's been your experience with JXC, JXO throwing knives? They've put out a lot, and I've heard a lot of great things from you about your experience with them. Maybe you've picked up some of these that I've reviewed recently. I'd love to hear your story and your experience and what you think.